Hi, this is Gary and I'm going to do a quick update here on my uh, 2018 project. I found these photographs on the internet and it's a one-off uh, Delahaye that was built back in 1946 for a famous French race driver. And uh, so what I'm going to show you here is my interpretation of, of that. Um, taken a few liberties here and there, but I uh, hope to get it reasonably close looking. Um, <clears throat> on this car, um, I just ordered up the uh, suspension, the independent front and back from height uh, suspensions. Um, I've used their products before and very satisfied with the engineering and what and all. Uh, since video number one, I've finished up the uh, grill, installing some of the radiators, getting the hinges ready for uh, the hoods. Uh, on this car, I used a vintage Volkswagen size window, so it makes it easy for replacement. Got the windshield wipers uh, ready to go. And here's kind of an interesting mechanism People that come to the shop kind of enjoy looking at it. It's, uh, I had one inch of space for the glass and the mechanism uh, for the roll-up window, and that's what I came up with. Cut those parts on a plasma cutter. <clears throat> the uh, kind of mocking up the inside here for uh, ergonomics and getting all the uh, fittings correct for uh, creating a dash. I'm going to make a round dash in this car. Uh, something a little bit unusual. The uh, see rear fenders are for the most part as the whole car actually is for the most part ready to do uh, sheet metal on uh, over the buck. And I've got the rear hatch uh, ready uh, for sheet metal as well. So uh, I've gotten started on the front fenders. Um, they're kicking my ass just a little bit, but I'm still fighting it out. I'm trying the best I can on these things. They're uh, going to be interesting. The uh, I did want to talk a little bit about uh, technique here. Is these little devices here are called Clecos, and you drill a hole and insert this in, and it's spring loaded. It pulls the sheet metals together and kind of holds. It's a temporary rivet that holds things together while you're fitting before you want to commit to uh, welding these off. And my technique on this, if you can see this, is there's a joggle that I put in with a handheld air powered device and then the upper sheet has holes punched in it for plug welds. And that gives you a reasonably flush surface. Um, the edges on this, uh, I always use like a half inch round thin wall tubing for edges just because it's simple and quick and reasonably priced and it makes a nice feeling edge, um, what have you. So anyway, um, that's it for today. I just wanted to uh, give those that were interested a little update on where I'm at um, working on this. I ex getting ready to order the uh, engine and uh, transmission for this. I am going to go a little bit wussy and put an automatic in this one. I'll probably use another E-Rod engine from General Motors because um, I live in California and that's about the best way to go as far as getting it licensed and whatever. Um, so until then, so long.